Now, thousands of residents remain in limbo on the New South Wales south coast. Many have no idea what they'll return, return home to. Matt Doran was there to share the emotional moment with one Maruya local and joins us now. Matt, it must have been a lot of hope, but also, I imagine, a bit of fear going back in there. Sam, uh, Steve Haig's home is really steeped in history. In fact, it's been in his family for a century. He had absolutely no idea what he would discover as he drove down the street. What he saw, well, it brought him to tears. Since New Year's Eve, this has been home for evacuee Steve Haig and his extended family. Hey, boys. Hey, buddy. Hey, Max. How you doing, brother? His two sheep, which look a lot like goats. You gonna eat Betty's hat? And his beloved chooks. My babies, my girls. What sort of sheep are Dorpers. they? Dorpers. They're Dorpers, Dorpers self-shedders. I've had them since old, old day old. So yeah, they're my babies, my chickens. <laughs> You're close. They're all safe. They're family, aren't they? Well, you can't just leave your family there. Yeah. Like thousands of others on the south coast, Steve fled after authorities warned, if you stay, you could die. Yeah, it would be scary. It would be scary that he goes today. When it happened, I sort of didn't know whether to stay or go. Home for Steve is normally on the outskirts of Maruya, a house his family built 100 years ago. Start again. Start again, don't we? For four days, without food or power, he's been cut off from his family. He's yet to hear from his son, who also lives in the path of the fires. What would it mean to you to hear his voice? Oh, there you go, Sam. Given the emergency warnings and the orange sky, Steve's been too afraid to return to see whether his home is still standing. I think you've, you've waited long enough. Let's go and see if we can find out if you still have a home. Yeah, always. Hang in there, mate. You'll be all right. And the next left is your street. You're starting to look a lot more buoyant. Oh, it's there. I know it's there now. It's still there. It's you there. reckon? I know. If we see this house up here, would it be fair to describe you as one of the happiest blokes on the south coast? I reckon it would be. Yeah. It's there. Is it? You've still got a home. I have. How does that feel? Oh, I just want to come home. <laughs> Is that the most beautiful, bloody thing Side I've ever seen? You've ever seen? Yeah. Uh, well, it's four days, not knowing. That's fantastic. What's going through your mind? Oh, just thank God. Someone's looking after us. Someone's looking after us. You got a sec, mate. You got a sec. You right? Yeah, it's good. Come here. <laughs> it's good. It's bloody fantastic. Can I be the first to say to you, welcome home? Yeah. <laughs> How's that sound? It's good, isn't it? Oh, it's good to be home. Oh, my God, man. Oh, God. I wonder if he white chickens here. Oh, God, that'd be even better, man. What, so it's over 100 years old? Around 100, yeah. Yeah, that little bit there is new. It is a magnificent and historic old joint, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I've got to see if the chicken's here. Go for it, mate. <laughs> I've just lost one white chicken and she's here to be lovely. Oh, she is. <laughs> Come here, buddy girl. <sighs> and she, yeah, this is my oldest chicken I had. And I wouldn't mind, she took off through the bush. You're kidding? No, I'm not kidding. I was so serious. How special is that to have found her? She does not drink coffee. What does she take, a long black? No, it's got to have milk. Oh, she's a skim latte she chalk, is she? Yes. That will fair income do me. Oh. All right, so should the three of us go and grab a coffee? No, oh, that's not really good. I have never in my life heard of a chicken that, that drinks coffee, and I have never in my life uh, met a more special man. He, he was just brilliant. And Sam and Kosha, I think he he's, he's gives you a bit of a sense of just how uh, these people in this area, what they're going through and what it means to them if they find their yeah. home when they return back to Absolutely. their property. Absolutely. Lovely story. What a character. Thanks, Matt.